Hi guys, it's me again, and I have a big haul for you. Um, I got some items from the Pickers Paradise in Greensburg, Indiana, and also I got some items from Carriage House Antiques in Oldenburg, Indiana, and I wanted to share it all with you. Plus, I got a few new things on my board. This guy right here says cowboy bob thinks happy and it's a hot dog with the face and arms <laughs> i thought he was cool and then over here i got this brooch it's a pointy arrow and i thought it was really pretty so i got that and i think i paid probably about <clears throat> $15 for the two of those, possibly, something around that. So, here we go, guys. Before I jump into my haul, I want to kind of have a talk because I just, I appreciate you guys being here. I really do. And if you're watching my videos, um, then I'm assuming that you like um, the things that I pick. So I'm, but I'm still getting people, um, some people that, um, are kind of relating me to a lot of the other uh, thrifters and pickers out there that have YouTube channels also, which um, I don't really mind that. It's just, um, I do do the same thing. It's just, I don't pick the same things. Um, my aesthetic, uh, to me, perfect aesthetic would be like a museum kind of thing mixed with a library, mixed with maybe just a splash of carnival in there. <laughs> Something like that, I guess, would be considered my taste. Um, along with a little splash of uh, scientist, I guess. Um, so when I get comments like, why didn't you pick up that Tanala vase? Or why didn't you, why did you pass the Pyrex? Or didn't you see that depression glass or stuff like that? Um, I kind of wonder if they haven't got it yet. <laughs> so I'm just kind of laying it out there that I don't necessarily pick things because they're popular or, you know, anything like that. I pick them because I like them and there's something about them that is pleasing to the eye to me uh, or it's interesting or it's odd or you know any of those kind of things is what what and why I pick actually so it, it doesn't necessarily have to be you know pigeonholed in that category so if you see me passing up something that you know somebody else um, would normally pick up it's just because I don't want it <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it's, and, and, you know, I have a definite, um, you know, of, of my clients or customers that come to my shop on Etsy, um, you know, they expect a certain type of, of, uh, you know, product from me. So, um, you know, I, I kind of, you know, I want to pick things that people are going to want to buy. So, you know, that goes along with territory too. So anyways, I just wanted to kind of clear that up. So if you don't like whimsical, odd, sometimes creepy, um, you know, vintage and antique picks, then I'm not sure why you're here. That's <laughs> all I got to say. So, but, um, anyways, I'm going to show you what I did pick. Okay, here we go. This wonderful postcard um, says Halloween on it, and it's got 
if you look real close, well, it's not focusing really well, but you can see a witch on the moon. And it's a bunch of black cats flying through the air with pumpkins. Um, pumpkin ghosts, I guess. I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what you call it. I can't really decipher how old this is. It does have some yellowing, so I know it's an older postcard, but I only paid $5 for it. So I, I can say it's vintage, but I don't know that it's an antique piece. But I couldn't pass it up because I just loved the imagery. I just thought it was awesome. So I got this. Um, and then I also... Um, I got this guy. I know it's not vintage by any means, but I love Halloween. Um, so I picked this up for $3. It's still got, a, you know, a barcode on it. I'm not exactly sure where it came from, but it's just for a tea light and it's metal. It's, it feels really sturdy. So for $3, um, which I'm sure they probably didn't pay more than $5 for it originally when it was brand new, but... I just thought he was cool, and it's got that traditional, um, you know, pumpkin look to it, which I like, too, so I grabbed that. I found a lot of Halloween stuff. I hit the Halloween jackpot, so this guy right here, um, I don't think you got to see him, but he's cool. He's kind of glittery, and this is another thing that probably wasn't that expensive originally, and I wouldn't say it would be a vintage piece. But it's got the original tag on it, glitter hanging decor, and they had it marked for $2.99. And I love just the traditional skeleton, and he's got a little bit of bling, so I thought that was kind of cool. And you probably see me die laughing <laughs> over this guy right here. I put fresh batteries in him. He's got a little plastic... Uh, portion that sticks up on his head where you can mount him on the wall, the wall if you want to but I don't know he's just he's he's fun as heck <laughs> so I just I crack up every time I turn him on he's just he's a trip but I think he might have a little short or something and his little thing on the side I'm not sure let's see if I can get him to work there we go guys Isn't he cool? Motion. This uh, Santa Claus jar, honestly, I do not know. I don't know how old it is. If anybody has any ideas, let me know. But I just thought he was cool as all get out. Um, it's kind of hard to show you him because of the glare. But he's got, he's just, I love the design of the, of the jar in general. And he was $8 and I just couldn't pass him up. And I thought it would be really neat with candies or something like that in them. Um, and it would just really, really show them off. So, I don't think that was a bad price for him at all. Because he's a nice, you know, a nice large jar. Okay, and these guys I actually got from... I ordered these. Um, and I paid... Like $22 for them, which I, again, I think they're well worth it because they're rare, they're not common. Um, they're listed in my shop, but they've got their original stickers. Um, they're made in Japan. I think it says Empress on it. Um, but they're they're in excellent condition. Someone must have just purchased these and then sat them in a china cabinet and left them. <laughs> and that was it. Because they have nothing wrong with them. They're in such good condition. And they're just, they're so adorable. Um, I think they're called Little Devils is what they're called. But they're salt and pepper shakers and I just thought they were cool as heck. So I got those. And I found, um, I got some more. <laughs> uh, you know me. But um, yeah, 
I got this little picture frame for 99 cents, I think, 99 cents, um, at uh, Goodwill. And um, I had some bits and pieces of butterflies. So I mounted um, one of the yellow uh, swallowtail butterflies. Wing um, just fit perfect in here. So I went ahead and put that in here and I listed it for sale in my shop. I just thought it, I just thought it was cute. I don't know. I like it. But anyways, I like taxidermy and, you know, bugs and insects and stuff. So that's what I did with it. And then, let's see. I got this from Alex, Chapter 2 Vintage. I think I paid $8 plus shipping for it and I've got it listed in my shop. But I thought it was too cool. Um... It's, it's a very heavy piece. It's got like that diamond point um, in the glass. It looks like it may have been all gold at one point because it's kind of like got gold and silver accents. So I'm thinking that maybe some of it's worn over time. But it, gosh, it's a... Okay, I think he's possessed. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go to sleep tonight. Okay, maybe you're going in the car and not in the house. Because maybe, you know, <laughs> that's a little creepy, guys. Okay, moving on. Um, But it's very, it's a very sturdy piece. It's, it's well made. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's turn you off. You're, you're, you're too damn creepy now. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got him out of the picture here. You're going in my car. <laughs> you're going in my car tonight. Okay. That. Okay, let me get my... <laughs> Let me get my mind back together now. Okay. I got this for myself. Um, it says Game of Dr. Quack. And it's got a bunch of cards in there. There's no pictures or anything. But what sold me, of course, was the graphics on it. I love it. I love the striping on the side. And I love vintage medical. So I thought this would be cool displayed with my medical pieces that I have. And it's real whimsical, and I just, I thought it was really cool. I think I paid, gosh, like $23 or something for it. <laughs> but it's an antique. So, I got that. And um, I also got this rosary, which is fabulous. Um, it... Another piece, of course, that I grabbed that glows in the dark, and I can't get it open here. Wait a minute. Let me see. Trying to do things with one hand when you're filming with the other is kind of difficult. But it's it's a big piece. Um, I'll show that to you. Crucifix. And then it's got up here. I think that's Mother Mary. I can't tell, but I'm pretty sure that's who's on there. But it definitely does glow in the dark because, you know, I had it in the light, you know, when I was taking pictures and stuff of this rosary. And when I turned the lights off and I was done for the evening, it was glowing. So it works. And I'm pretty sure, gosh, I think I paid $20 for that. Um, it's probably from the 40s or 50s that rosary is. So I grabbed that. And I also grabbed this too. Um, which I think, uh, what did I pay? Maybe $8 for it. But it is um, a plaster statue of Jesus. Um, and what got me is that it's plaster and that it's still survived. <laughs> um, it looks like maybe, possibly, um, it had something else attached to the back. Maybe a cross or something like that. Um, because you can see right here and here that maybe it did have something mounted to it at one point. But I think it's just a fabulous piece. And it's, like I said, it's made of plaster. So 
I just thought it was crazy that it even survived all these years. Um, now, I also, I mean, you know, you can never tell what I'm going to pick, guys. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> it was $7. And uh, you would think, okay, by looking at it, look at the tail, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay, normally most people would say, hey, that's a creamer. But no, it's not a creamer. It's a planter. It's a vintage planter. See, there's no hole in the mouth. And I double-checked with the owner, and he said, yeah. It's a planner. So, and it's in excellent condition. It doesn't have any chips or cracks, no paint wear, nothing. It's just an awesome, cute little piece. So, you know, of course, I got it because I couldn't I couldn't handle the cuteness of the face. <laughs> so I got that planner. I thought somebody out there would fall in love with it, just like I did. And let's see. Oh, yeah, I got another Halloween-y piece. This right here, I put fresh batteries in it. It's, um, you know, it's it's all plastic, of course, but it's got the little button that you press. And I thought maybe it was broken because the teeth weren't chattering, but I noticed the way they're mounted, they're not supposed to. It just makes a chattering noise, and then it has light, red light, that lights up in the back of it. Let's see, I'll press it here. But can you see the red light? But I love the chattering noise because, you know, of course, what it reminds me of is the chattering teeth noise that they used to make on Scooby-Doo <laughs> when, you know, they would be all scared and frightened because of some kind of creature or something. So I got that guy listed in my shop. I, I think he's awesome. And, you know, I don't know how old it is, but, you know, I paid, I think, $10 for him and then I paid $10 for Possessed skeleton guy with the eyeballs <laughs> the eyeballs that move and um i found another creepy doll um this was the only one that they had there that was completely intact that didn't have any limbs missing or anything like that <laughs> oh my gosh i'm having difficulties this evening okay sit there little girl but she's got some hair i don't know <laughs> She's got a she's got a little little sleepy wake up sleep hair is what it looks like you know how you look when you wake up in the morning kind of disheveled that's what she looks like but I think I mean you could take the hair off if you didn't want to keep the hair on there because it looks like it was attached like stapled on or something um so you could take that off there but I I'm pretty sure I paid like eight dollars eight or nine dollars for her and um she's got all her fingers and toes and everything's intact she just you know she's got having a bad hair day so that's about it but she's um composition and um she's got the eyes that open and close so and i thought she was kind of cool because she's got that uh you know she meets all requirements for creepy old doll you know <laughs> so that's why i grabbed her and Oops, I'm having an avalanche here. Um, I also grabbed this, which is a vintage anatomy model. Um, and he's got glare, of course, on his face because of the lighting in here. But uh, I get a close up of the little face. Um, but he was ten dollars too. And um, you know, medical students or anything like that, they. Um, you know, these are good to help learn the bones and things and just kind of have something to refer to, but he kind of goes along with the whole Halloween thing and the whole medical thing. So that's kind of why I grabbed him and I thought he was really neat for $10, especially that's a good price. So I grabbed that and then I actually bought these little salt and paper shakers for $4 plus shipping from vintage Vinny. They're um, little clown salt and pepper shakers. Um, looks like the pepper got a little bit more use than the salt there. But the, he had a he had a he had a little accident or something because his little tip of his hat. See this one right here. See the difference. So I got them in my shop listed, but they're real cheap. But I just loved them because I don't know. 
they're the right kind of clown, I guess. They're not too creepy, but just a little creep factor. And I, I like some, um, you know, vintage circus type stuff. So, you know, I ended up grabbing that. And this I thought was really unusual because I never knew they existed. I did some research. Um, it's a memo holder. Please leave a note. Um, it's still in the original box. I think I paid six or seven dollars for it. And it's got this cute little, well, if I can just get it out of the box, we'll be okay. But it's got this cute little deer on the front here. And it says, um, please leave a note. We'll be back at, and then you can move the little dial to whatever, um, you know, whatever time. And then when you open it up, well, let me move this stuff. When you open it up, it still has the original notepad and pencil in here. So this was, you know, of course, the time frame before cell phones <laughs> and all that. Um, and it has a little hole in the back so that you can actually mount it, um, you know, on the outside of your door or whatever. But I would, I would guess it would have been for a place of business or even for your home. You could uh, have mounted this outside and, uh, you know, went out to lunch or something like that. And if somebody stopped by to say hey or needed something, they could leave you a little note and let you know, you know, that they stopped by. So I thought it was kind of cool. And uh, I grabbed that because, you know, I couldn't pass it up. I thought it was, I thought it was definitely an interesting piece, kind of a hail to the days when everything wasn't computerized or electronic. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh yeah, I did. I grabbed, um, this and it's still got the stuff in it because I took pictures of it. I don't know if I can just make room for it, but okay. Um, I paid I think $15 for this and it's old. I'm not exactly sure that it's an antique, but I think it's kind of borderline here. Um, it's got these if you see like metal straps that are tacked on and it's comes complete with moss <laughs> um but yeah it's got like an iron um solid iron handle and the screws on the side are um they're they're the flathead screwdrivers they're not the phillips so the flathead they stopped using those a long time ago um but it's like a i guess you would call it like a garden caddy um, it does have one spot on the one corner, which I don't want to flip it around right now, but that looks like, you know, some of the wood is kind of, um, you know, it's, it's gotten some wear to it and it's kind of rotting a little bit, but other than that, it's a nice big piece. And I think it'd be awesome on like a farm in like a farmhouse setting or cottage setting, um, you know, or even just a display and like. Uh, like a porch or something like that um, area, you know, with stuff. And I just put some dried flowers and I had some, you know, pots, some clay pots. And these I got for sale too, which these came with it, which these are zinc um, markers. There's eight of them here that you can write on and use them to label your um, plants or herbs or anything like that. So I got this big guy. And I'm going to take a gander around. I'm sure I'm missing something. And if that's the case, I'll do what I always do, which is just throw it on the next video. And I'm seeing. I'm looking. I'm not seeing anything else. So I think we're good to go. So guys, I'm so happy that you're here and that you stuck it out with me to the very end of the video. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate that. And um, also comments. I love comments because I love talking to you guys. And I like to know what your thoughts are and give me some feedback and stuff. And if you have any suggestions on videos or anything, um, you know, let me know. I really appreciate that. Um, 
other than that, then I shall say, till next time, see you later. Bye.